Peace all the inner lights out there. It's your brother Junus, a.k.a. Sag and Blue. You're now tuned to Signs and Numbers. Please subscribe, like the page, and share with others. Hope you guys are doing your best out there and being your best out there. Definitely. So we're going to continue this series and talk about Pisces born on March 15th. And know for the year 2024, as a forecast, realize you're going to see that it's time for you to embrace change as it comes to you. Do your best to not be stubborn in the moment. You know, situations may be tough, difficult, but embrace change. Think differently outside the box and see when something comes to you to kind of just take advantage of that particular moment. You're going to realize through this process, you're going to have more of an abundance within your mindset and be a lot more optimistic once you make that particular change and you're more versatile in your decision making. You see what I'm saying? So this one should be mindful of. Also as well, switch up the scenarios, switch up your scenes if you feel like you're being drained in this particular place you're at for long periods of time and so you've been lingering there. You know, as Pisces sometimes, we tend to work really hard. They tend to work really hard. You know what I'm saying? And they, they're really committed, you know, once they're like in a particular profession and stuff like that. So sometimes it's good to kind of just switch it up a bit and try to see where you can go maybe closer to the water, being that you are a water sign, go there, heal, you know, especially on a beautiful day, look at the sun, you know, hitting on the water, reflecting some type of light and let that light hit your skin, you know, just making you feel a lot more better. That's one way to look at it. Or you could just meditate, um, pray, do some visualizations. Um, you know, just go out into nature. That's something that definitely compliments you as a Pisces right now at the moment. But embrace change or go to some type of social gathering as well. Because you're going to realize this year you're going to be a lot more charismatic within your energy as somebody born to 15. And even be more expressive and talkative. You see what I'm saying? And also you'll realize too if you have a business out there or you're an entrepreneur, those skills are going to be a lot more honed in. And you're going to probably go into some type of class and like learn a little bit more so you can bring out more of that creative energy in your vibration so this is something that shows within the vibration you being born on march 15th um as somebody born march 15th you naturally um are a charmer by heart and nature you know what i'm saying it's something that's unavoidable <laughs> so that's something that actually works to your favor and you realize you have a certain way you communicate with other people where it hits really close to home where other people can relate to it and it's solid like the way you talk it's almost like your word is binding the things that you say and the way you convey it although you are naturally a trauma you know to the opposite sex and you could gain them up if you wanted to but overall though there's certain meaning and realness to what you say what you say because of how you perceive that other particular person overall you see what i'm saying you know how to kind of just read that particular individual because you can hone in to like their their cadence, their tonality, see how they move there with that vibration. Like you can read their face a bit. And because of that, you know exactly like how to approach that particular individual with your gift. So I just want to be mindful of definitely utilize your voice to the best of your ability. And because this also it shows that you're a type of person that does love music as a Pisces and you like to listen to different tunes, vibrations, and you can kind of just, it just puts you in that trance almost, you know what I'm saying? It almost may even heal you in certain moments. So that's something to be mindful of as well. It does show as a Pisces born on March 15th, you're definitely a person that's embraced like um, a lot of pain in your life, you know, a lot of suffering. You know, you're the kind of person that's bold. You have a lot of courage within your vibration and it doesn't matter where you are, you know how to like endure like whatever's going on in the moment like you could be like in the trenches you see what i'm saying and like probably be around the roughest toughest people and still be like one of the coolest people that they'll click with in that particular circle because the way you just carry yourself there's a realness it's in your tonality that's just down to earth so people from all walks of life could just relate with your nature and this could also go on the professional level as well because Pisces overall know how to keep a professional, you see what I'm saying? So on any matter, but at the same time, they have like a ruggedness to them that everybody could kind of feel. So they just know how to just go into those depths, you know, as a water sign, you know, water pretty much seeps through everything. So in some shape or form, a person is going to feel your emotion, your intuition, now you hit them close to home, especially if you talk to them a certain way too. So boom, you just catch, you just catch them. So there's like a positive aspect of your um, energy. But you'll realize that sometimes, you know, trouble could find you or it's hard for you to escape trouble at times. Or you may have realized that when you were younger, you know what I'm saying? But as you got older, you probably know how to maneuver better. But you realize it's not hard for you to get 
caught out there, you see what I'm saying, with your particular vibration being born on the Pisces. Um, you also see as well that the universe does test you a lot, so you have to kind of be careful of your surroundings, where you go, how, where you drive to, you know, how you drive, you know, like if somebody's trying to cut you off, sometimes just let them be because don't be too aggressive with it um, because, you know, you're kind of prone to accidents that could occur to you physically. And sometimes you may have been one of those Pisces, born on the 15th, that might have had a life and death experience, but you survived it and like came out like no bruises, no nothing, you just were fine. But it was probably horrific to see whatever it might have been, you see what I'm saying? So that's just something to be mindful of. Or if you went through some type of pain, you like you healed from the situation, like whatever may have happened to you physically, but you realize you healed and recovered properly. So there's some aspects you're mindful that sometimes the universe tests you in that way, you can be prone to certain accidents, but the universe also tests you when it comes to lust in your relationships. So you gotta make the right decisions and not get caught with so much confusion in your life, although you are a very loving person and you do not express your love and give it your all, but sometimes you get caught in confusion, you can pick the wrong mate, or if you do have somebody, something like I said, the universe will throw somebody else out there, you know what I'm saying, to kind of test your loyalty, even though you are a loyal person, but you know, sometimes if you feel a little freaky and stuff like that, the lust comes out of you, boom, you know, you could like fail that test or pass it, all depending, you know, but just just something to be mindful of with your vibration being born on the 15th. Um, you're gonna realize too that you have a massive like quality in your energy and like, if you really put your heart into something, you could manifest it to what it needs to be and put it out in the physical for other people to see it because there is something in you internally that would love to leave some type of legacy behind. Not everybody always thinks about that kind of stuff, but for you, there's definitely something in your energy and aspect where you would definitely would love to leave some type of legacy behind. So whatever it is that you have that's special, definitely hone in on it. So I'm going to keep it there for now. If you want to learn more, hit me up at Sag and Blue. That's S-A-G-I-N-B-L-U-E on TikTok or Instagram. So with that being said, you've been born the 15th. You're naturally going to be compatible. You've been born 15th of March. You're naturally going to be compatible with water signs, which are Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, but also Earth signs, which are Taurus, Capricorns, and Virgos. And you're going to realize because you're born the 15th, a couple of signs are going to be drawn to your energy naturally. So Earth signs, like I mentioned, Taurus is one of them definitely that's going to be drawn to your energy. But you may also realize Libras are drawn to your energy strongly and even Geminis, you know what I'm saying, may have some type of attraction to or towards your energy. So there's something to be mindful of. Scorpios too um, will have some attraction to your energy, but sometimes, although Scorpio and Pisces do get along really good together, sometimes you might see some weird disconnection with them at times too and some type of friction. But that doesn't mean you don't get along with them. But just be mindful of that though. With the Taurus, Libras, and Geminis, you might realize that you have some attraction towards them or vice versa. You also see that this vibration breaks down to a 15 vibration. I mean, a, a, a six vibration, the number 15. So one plus five is six. So because of this, it falls within the spiritual plane. And the numbers that hit the spiritual plane are three, six, and nines. So you'll see that you may click with somebody more than the third of the month the 30th of the month, for example, the 12th or 21st. Or you may see you click well somebody born on the 15th like yourself, the 6th or 24th. Or you may see somebody come into your life or be a part of your life that might be born the 27th, the 18th or the 9th. You know, it's kind of unavoidable. You may see like this in your coworkers. If you're a parent out there, a lot of your kids may have this vibration or you might have been raised by somebody with this vibration. Or if you play for a team, you might see a lot of your teammates may have this in their vibration. This is probably why there's so much chemistry and you guys get along well and play well together. So these are things you just be mindful of that's kind of avoidable and it's just the way God constructs it. So there's as much harmony as possible in the universe and there's no chaos. So that's something just to be mindful of. Um, on a spiritual level, you're gonna see that you click well if you were ever to encounter somebody born the fourth for the month. That's a powerful connection with your vibration. If you met somebody born on the 18th of the month, that's also a powerful connection with your vibration. Somebody born the seventh of the month as well, that'd be a powerful connection with your vibration. So these particular numbers right there would be powerful, sometimes rare, but you realize that um, in some shape or form, you might meet them in one lifetime. So that's just something just to be mindful of. I'm thinking about another number two, um, that'd be powerful. Somebody also, somebody born the 29th of the month. 
forgot about that. Yeah, the 29th would also be a powerful connection and vibration as well. So just something to just be mindful of if you're being born on March 15th. All right, brothers and sisters, your brother Junus, a.k.a. Sag and Blue. Thank you for being with me at the moment on Signs and Numbers. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Remember to subscribe, like the page, share with others. Do your best out there, be your best out there. But most importantly, let your inner light shine. Junus. <laughs>